Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. What I'd like to cover today is verifying the email address of your user when they sign up with email and password uh, in Firebase. So I have this application right here. I will put uh, a link to the video up above if you want to follow along and build that. Uh, the GitHub repo is also down below uh, if you want to be brought up to speed on this. But what I'm going to do here should universally re apply if you have an application that is uh, signing up with email and password through Firebase. Um, so let me just correct something that I should have done last time. I uh, In this app, I've got a sign in button, a sign up button, um, and then I'm navigating to the home page. Um, and one thing that I should have done here is actually create a future and then only navigate to the home page after this future was completed. So for now, I don't necessarily care about the outcome. Um, I just want to add a future here. So this doesn't actually navigate until we're done here. There's really no error trapping in this and we're aware of that and I want to layer that in uh, as I go along with this series. Uh, but what happens if you don't get the password right, uh, you will be navigated actually to the home page uh, and then at that point you'll get an error and the whole thing will crash. <laughs> so not super elegant uh, and we want to make sure we're at least done with that process before we move to the next step. So I'm just gonna tuck that in here all right, and then so when we sign up, uh, so when we click this second button and we sign up, uh, what we want to do is go to a page that is like a holding page uh, until they verify their email. And then if they do that, they can proceed to the home page. So to get that started, I'm going to come over here to the screens folder and I'm just going to add a screen and I'm going to call it verify.dart. And I'm going to set that up as a stateful widget. and it will be called verify screen. Just bring in the material package like that. All right, and so when we come out of login, we go to login.dart, if we are signing up, instead of going directly to the home screen, we're gonna put them in purgatory here with the verify screen. And on the verify screen, what we want to do is set this up so that it is sending a verification email when this screen loads uh, and it is waiting for them to uh, answer that or click on that email, verify their email before it forwards them to the home page. So up here inside my state object, I'm going to declare a few variables. So I'm going to bring in an instance of Firebase auth because I'm going to need that for um, getting the user. So the instance there also going to be getting a user. So this used to be Firebase user, but with the recent changes to the API, it's now called user. And we can leave that blank for now. And also um, checking for the uh, updated profile, that is a future. And so it's not a stream, so we're gonna have to, to ping it uh, continuously. And for to do that, I'm gonna set up a timer. And I want to set that timer up top uh, because I want to be able to load that to a variable and then dispose of it uh, to make sure that that timer is not running indefinitely. So that's a timer from Dart Async. And I'm going to use an init state. So I want to take certain actions when this loads up. And again, we're not using state management in this. I'm going to try to layer that in later. So this may not be the most ideal way to do it. But we'll start here and then we can, it will work. And then we can migrate it uh, to a state management system later to improve on the operations. All right, so I need to get my user. And so when we init state, let's just go out to auth.currentUser. Um, and we can get that. And that used to be a future. Uh, but the new API, it is not a feature anymore. So once I've got my user, I can send email verification. So that is going to tell Firebase to go ahead and send an email on my behalf to verify uh, the user's address. So that's as simple as that, which is nice. So once I do that, I want to ping the user record 
um, in some kind of regular basis to continuously check and see if they have verified their email. So I'm gonna set up a timer. I'm gonna do timer.periodic. So periodic is just gonna continuously repeat. And I'm gonna use a duration, and I'm gonna set it at five seconds. You can set this at whatever you want. Um, so that means the user may have to wait up to five seconds after they click on their email uh, before it forwards them to the next screen. If you want it to be snappier than that, uh, you can set that lower. If you want it to be longer, you can set it longer. All right, so this is where I want to check and see if my email has been verified. And I'm gonna write myself a separate function for that. So I'm gonna come down here inside the class, but after the build method, and I'm gonna write a future void. And I'm just gonna call it check email verified. And that is asynchronous. And I want to go ahead and get my user here. Let's just go ahead and get it from auth.currentUser. And then what I want to do is, so you can't, you can, you can actually get a stream of changes from the user. Uh, let's see, it's one of these here, but it will do you no good uh, as far as the email verification is concerned. There's something about changes, I believe. Maybe it's on off. Yeah, auth state changes. Um, oh, here we go, user changes. Um, this would seem to be promising. It's not as far as checking this goes. Uh, so actually what you wanna do is you wanna reload the user from time to time. So user.reload, which is a, a future like that. And then you can check that. So that if you're just listening on that stream like that, the is uh, email verified or the email verified property does not refresh. So make sure you do user.reload. And then you can check user uh, email verified. And if that's true, at that point, that's where you want to navigate to the home page. So we'll push replacement and we will do a material page route. And that'll have a builder, context, this whole ordeal for getting to a new page. And at this point, we want them to go to the home screen. They've earned it. All right, and at that point, I'd also like to cancel the timer. Um, so anytime you set up a timer like this, you really wanna make sure that you are not leaving it open, which is why we created a variable called timer. So I'm gonna set this equal to timer. And if we get to the point where the email has been verified, I want to, before I navigate out of here, cancel the timer. And just to be double certain that, that we are canceling it, I'm also going to call the dispose method on the widget. So if the widget just ends up being disposed of and we don't go through this whole process here to get to the timer cancel, um, we're gonna wanna just cancel the timer at that point. So if all else fails, when we dispose of this widget, make sure that timer is canceled. And so now that we have our function in here, we can call the function within our timer. So every five seconds, we're gonna run check email verified. And if that happens to reload the user and get the result that the user.email verified is now true, uh, it is going to cancel the timer and it's gonna send it on to the homepage. And with that in place, we just need to put something on the screen here. So I'm gonna replace, I've got a build method here. Um, I'm just going to put a scaffold and um, I'm not even going to bother with an app bar. What I'll do is just a body and we'll do a center widget with a child that is a text that says an email has been sent to and since we have the user's email, we can do user.email please 
verify. All right, let me just format that. And so at this point, we should be all set. Um, if you have a um, Firebase console all set up and you followed along in the last one, um, or you're, you're trying to sign up for an email that already exists, just make sure you get it out of there. So I'm gonna delete the account um, and make sure that the email you're signing up with doesn't exist in there because we don't have error checking to uh, let you know that anyway right now. Let's see. So I've got my email client uh, actually off this screen and I don't have anything yet. And I put email verified instead of email. Let's see if I can fix that on the fly. There we go. All right, so I did get it and I'm gonna click on it off the screen here. And within five seconds, hopefully, I will see myself brought to the home screen. And there we go. So that's really all there is to it. They make it pretty easy for you in Firebase. You just tap into the user. You can send the email verification, and, and Firebase takes care of, of uh, SMTP for you. Um, you do need to reload the user to be able to actually read the updated email verified process and you do have to have some strategy like we had here with our timer uh, to check back in with that continuously and then move on to the next page when you're done. So I uh, hope you found that helpful. What we're going to do next time if you want to continue with this series is get rid of uh, this logic that is in the stateful widgets and start to move it into a better state management system. Um, and we'll use provider to do that. So uh, that'll be next time in the series if you care to come back. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.